mostly in Asia previously, and now it's being done largely in Michigan, because Michigan intends, we're not just going to sit back about this, Mr. Vice President, we're going to leverage every bit of that Recovery Act to transform our economy, take Michigan from the Rust Belt to the Green Belt. We intend to lead the nation, and as you contemplate an energy bill or sending market signals to the world about investment in the United States to create clean energy solutions, I want, I hope, you will use Michigan as the primo example because since that Recovery Act and since the Department of Energy has stepped forward, 62,000 jobs in batteries, but another 20,000 just in the past 10 months alone projected in solar and in wind. I'm telling you, the sky is the limit and using the clean energy economy to reindustrialize America is a huge step forward. In 2012, thanks in part to the investments we're making through the Recovery Act, we'll grow to 30 factories, 16 more in this data I just learned, which will have the capacity to produce more than 20% of the world's advanced batteries, and a number that is likely to rise to 40% by 2015. These batteries are going to be produced here in Michigan, not just by Dow Coca, but also by A123, by Compact Power, GM, Johnson Control. And I understand another 13 or 14, I don't even know the names of them. And here, as I mentioned before, we're not just talking about more batteries, but better batteries, more efficient batteries, more powerful batteries. These superior lithium ion batteries can run longer, provide more power, work in a broader range of temperatures, and have a longer operational life. Like I said, these will be the Hemi engines of batteries. 